inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Take my eyes open to force reality no, no, no. Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinny Okay, I'm just blowing off this driveway. Obviously, I'm using the old BR600. I love this thing. I just went through it and put a uh, new air filter in it, new spark plug, and I changed the... Make sure you gotta blow off the car. And the grass to get on there. Some people seem to forget that. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, I replaced both the fuel filters inside the gas tank. There is two of them inside the BR600. Look at all that clumped up grass. That stuff that was stuck to the bottom of the walker. It's the only thing that I can fit in this backyard. Um, other than the push mower. If you guys remember last week, I made a video of push mowing the front yard of this house. This backyard was just way too swampy. I couldn't get in there. So it was pretty tall today. And... You know, I'd much rather do it with the walker than the push mower, and the walker does a really good job. So I cut it in one direction at three and a half, and then I went the opposite direction at three inches. And so now it's in shape and just blowing off the residual of everything, and it'll be good to go now for the rest of the season. It does grow like crazy back here, but it's nothing I can't manage as long as I can get in here week to week and keep it cut. But, um,. I'm just showing you guys a, a view of the backyard here. You guys wanted a lot of footage from the Wright Sport X, so that's pretty much all that is in this video. Um, I tried to show you guys as much as I can. I didn't get to film on a couple yards today that I wanted to film on because I was just way behind and I was trying to get as much done as I could. So um, to get you more footage, here it is uh, on my yard. You guys have seen me mow this so many times with so many different mowers over the last couple of years but um you know it just seems to be the easiest that i can set up if i realize by the end of the day i haven't gotten much footage it's the easiest to just set the camera up and film me mowing my own yard so at least you guys get more footage with this right sport x um they're calling for a lot of rain this week so i'm hoping that we don't get too much we we're supposed to get a whole bunch late this afternoon we only got rain for a very little bit and then it died off. So everything's pretty much dried up now from the rain we got this afternoon. So I'm hoping that it'll pretty much be the same way the rest of the week. I'm hoping any little bits we get uh, will just be minimal and pass right on through versus the heavy rains that they're calling for because these rain, these uh, yards aren't waiting for anybody. Uh, one yard today I probably mowed or uh, I used the trimmer on a section that was probably 30 foot by 50 foot and cut that part down because it was a huge yard and that was the only spot that was wet so I wasn't going to pass it up another week it had already grown extremely tall I wasn't going to let it go again so I mowed what I could and then I just walked through all that wet area and you know leveled it out real nice with the trimmer and it, it is what it is the yards once they get really long they're not going to dry out unless you get them cut down you, you can't get that wind 
wind will dry out a yard much faster than sun will and you're not going to get that wind or the sun down there to dry it out if it gets really tall so you got to do what you got to do and that's just part of spring here in the northeast fire spreading all around my room my world's so bright it's hard to breathe but that's all right Hush. change on this right sport x um we are right now at i was saying engine now we are 8.9 hours i have to do the reset on it service engine now the break-in period is 10 hours um and i got up to 8.9 today um what i think of this so far first 10 hours i mean it's 10 hours what can you really tell about a mower in 10 hours um I do love how comfortable it is. If you guys have watched the last couple of videos and you saw the changes I made with the seat, the position of it, things like that. Uh, the new pad is ordered uh, for the fabrication I'm gonna do on that to convert it over to the full size pad. Uh, if you guys have been watching along, you already know. And uh, that should be in maybe tomorrow even. And I'm gonna get on that and I'll make a full video on how I do that as well. But uh, I love the way it cuts. It leaves a great cut. It's definitely fast enough. Um, it's comfortable standing up or sitting down. It could be more comfortable standing than what it is. Um, that's part of that conversion, so stay tuned for that. Um, will it clean up grass? Definitely. Uh, today, I mowed through some really thick grass. It was about eight, nine inches tall, heavily fertilized, thick grass, and it was wet. And I mowed over it once at three inches. I raised the deck up to three and a half, went over it again, dispersed it fine. It was completely gone, no need to go over it a third time. So it definitely did well. Um, I have mowed a few where I've cut it down and then thrown the accelerator on, and the accelerator is picking up fantastic. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And I have mowed with it, with the accelerator on right from the get-go, and it's working really well. Um, a lot of people have asked me in the past, and recently actually, um, with running a grass catcher on the side and they say they have a problem with the mouth clogging up before the accelerator fills up or before the grass catcher fills up uh, for one thing steel grass catchers they all do that i really haven't found a way around it i found ways to make it a little bit better but with the accelerator it will do the same thing the only way i found to go around that is when you're bagging you have to run high lift blades um, like mulching blades do not throw it hard and fast enough into the bagger um, which means it doesn't get all the way to the back so it starts clogging up the mouth before the bagger is full so if you are running any type of grass catcher you do have to run high lift blades to get the maximum out of the bagger um, before it clogs up the mouth on that note I did just go to the dealer to get the stuff for the oil change and I had him get me a set of these these are G6 Gator Blades, and these are what I need. So I am going to be running these. As a matter of fact, I think these might be wrong. Um, these say 21 inches, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, these all say 21 inches. I think these are for a 61 inch deck, and I have a 52. I'm gonna have to check that. I'm pretty sure 52 inch deck takes 18 inch blades. I'm gonna have to check that. But I did get those because I do wanna try them out and see how well this mower will cut thick grass with gator blades, mulching blades on there. So that will be coming um, in the near future. But the first oil change is done and tomorrow will be another day of mowing. Hopefully we're supposed to get a whole bunch of rain. So we'll see what happens.